uh, he is going to New York at the United Nations uh, in New York and um, I have briefed him that there are three pillars that are critically important at the United Nations. The first pillar is that of uh, peace and security. That occupies most of the work at the United Nations. In that regard, uh, the world is divided on the issues of peace and security. You already know which group of countries on what issues stand together. But as far as uh, Zimbabwe is concerned, on the matters of peace and security, primarily my ambassador must look at the national interest of the Republic of Zimbabwe. Secondly, the position on that particular issue taken by SADC and the third uh, position taken by the AU. Those are the guiding principles in relation to issues of the pillar of security and the peace in the United Nations. The second pillar relates to development issues of nations. And again, the world is divided into various groups. The big boys have their club. There is no um, criteria of choosing, but they choose themselves. The first group of big boys is the G7, who say they have the the seven biggest economies in the world. Whether that is true or not, but that's what they say. Uh, they meet as a group of seven. They determine what development thrust the world must uh, follow and what influence they must have in the development of the entire world. Then beyond the G7, there is the G20. Now the G7 will now expand and look at other nations or economies which they think are coming up and should not be allowed to be free. So they are harnessed uh, and expanding the group of seven into the group of 20. Uh, beyond that, of course, uh, when the rest of the majority of uh, developing countries fell they're being left out, this resulted in the creation of NAM, the non-aligned states, about 77 of them or so. But now the impact of NAM is not as much as it was at the time of its formation. That is about the issue of uh, development. But Zimbabwe, as far as Zimbabwe is concerned, under the current um, economic environment we are living in, over two decades of sanctions imposed by these big boys, Zimbabwe is surviving on the basis of three issues. One, attending to our own domestic resources to survive. Secondly, uh, the support which we receive in our own region as SADC, both at economic and political level. And the third, under the auspices of the AU, we have survived. Beyond that, we have other countries and other nations we have not imposed sanctions on Zimbabwe, so we continue to relate to them. So on matters of development, my ambassador should not think that the G7 will ever think about promoting Zimbabwe. 
he must realize that uh, our survival is on the basis of our own resources, supporting SADIC, supported by the AU, and the bilateral relations which we have with friendly countries. The third pillar, this second pillar of development, the third pillar is the issue of human rights. So I told my master that uh, one weapon which the big boys use is the question of human rights. They ignore the human rights violations in their own backyards, in their own countries, in their own jurisdictions. But uh, go around talking about human rights violations in developing countries when there are worse human rights happening in the jurisdictions of these major countries. We in Zimbabwe suffered under human rights of oppression for decades, a century. And we had to go to war in order to have democracy in our country. So we cherish it. No one can lecture us on our democracy. So he must be aware. On that issue again, he must be aware that uh, as a Sadiq, we stand together on issues of that nature and uh, you. But we must not be bulldozed by the big boys because they have worse human rights violations in their own jurisdictions. Now, with my young man, uh, Mozambique. Mozambique and Zimbabwe are sister countries. We are brothers and sisters. Our own independence was born on the basis of sanctuary which we received from Mozambique. An attack on Mozambique is an attack on us. However, because of two decades of sanctions, our capacity to assist Mozambique in the fight against aggression on Mozambique is now limited as a result of the two decades of sanctions. But we, he must assure our sisters and brothers in Mozambique that Zimbabwe stands solidly with Mozambique on the challenges they are facing. 